hello everybody welcome back to my channel hope you guys have been blessed and staying safe um as you can tell this is going to be another sublimation video and it's also going to be another one of my experiment videos and the reason why is because i've never um pressed this uh substrate before for all of the newbies um a substrate is an item that you are sublimating on and since we're talking about newbies welcome to all of my first time viewers and to all of my newbies and to all of my subscribers and to all the people that have been hanging out with me for a while welcome back so this is what we have today um this is a sublimation what they call it a tumbler y'all this is a whole water bottle like what what is this <laughs> um so this is a water bottle um they're calling it a tumbler it has a handle which i think is super cool um it's from michael's and it's the make market brand so this is their brand um i picked it up in my store it was nine dollars and 99 cent had a five dollar off coupon so i got it for like five bucks with taxes here are it says bpa free um that is the barcode if anybody needs to see it and the instructions are as follows and i got my my light is on my camera um but it says preheat to 360 degrees fahrenheit and press for 60 seconds that's for a um the regular heat press then it has sublimation oven directions on here but i wanted to leave it like this just so you all can see the um the label again this did come from michael so let me come on over here and take this label off um i've had it for geez a couple of weeks now gosh this label is hard to come off i'm trying not to cut it but at this point like I don't plan on using it again. Golly, this thing is hard to come off. Um, and I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to scratch the actual tumbler itself. Uh, of course, I'm going to go ahead and screw the top off so it comes with a straw. There's nothing on the inside. You know, a lot of times when you buy these um, tumblers and whatnot, they come with like instructions on the inside but as you can see the instructions for as you can see the instructions for that one was on the label i just put lotion on my hands because i didn't want to be ashy <laughs> so what i'm gonna do i just got some plain on alcohol and i'm gonna spray it on this paper towel and i'm just gonna wipe this down because i did see um a couple of fingerprints on here let me get in front of it. And I'm gonna try to keep this video short, but I kind of wanted to do the whole process with you. Um, so I'm wiping my fingerprints and stuff off. Now I've seen people take a lint roller and uh, lint roll the tumbler. I've seen people do that before. For all of the new people, the reason why you want to go ahead and lint roll that is because when you're dealing with sublimation, because you're doing it at such a high heat, um, you don't want any loose fibers. Depending on what type of sublimation ink and paper you are using, any loose fibers, well, for some odd reason, it's like they sublimate and they turn black or blue. Um, and because this item or my image, I'm sorry, has a lot of white spots in it, that'll turn it, um, it'll have the flecks. So off camera, what I've done is I went ahead and cut my image off. Um, and for the dimensions, let me, let me tell y'all something right quick when it comes to sublimating. Um, templates are great. And what I'm doing, y'all, is I'm sitting this, down here but i may have to cut it because i wanted to put my affirmations cup up here 
Um, so I'm trying to see how can I put that on the cup without um, running out of space. And I may not end up being able to do it, but I'm going to go ahead and cut this right quick. While I'm cutting, I'm going to go ahead and finish talking. When it comes to templates, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to buy templates. Um, and I've said this before on my channel, but it is best to make your own. This is not going to be seamless. As y'all can see, there's a gap right here. Let me see. Okay, there you see there's a gap right there. That's fine because if you see there's white parts in here. So it's okay um, if it's not, if the image doesn't come all the way um, across, that's completely fine. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm so backwards. So what else you're gonna need? You're gonna need, of course, your substrate. You're gonna need your image. This is a, and I'm gonna tape and talk. To kind of keep my time down and i promise y'all i'm gonna get better with my um with my uh materials being listed um you're gonna need your image this is an image that i put together in silhouette studio um i'm team silhouette um some people are cricket some people use canva um, some people use Word, Adobe, you know, just like whatever you're using. Um, I want to make sure this is tight. So you're going to need your image. You're going to need heat tape. I got my heat tape from Amazon. Um, I kind of want to tape all the way across the top, but I'm kind of scared. Again, this is my first time using this. Um, and see, I did right here i was gonna put my affirmations cup but i'm trying to see if i'm gonna have space for that to go on there and i probably should have had this cut out before i started the video um so if y'all don't want to see me cut that just go ahead and get your fast forward button okay now i can put it on there and y'all i'm all over the place today let me hop back on the um part where we talk about and I probably shouldn't have made it this big that's okay um, when it comes to your templates it's nothing wrong with buying I'm scared this is going to ghost right here there is nothing wrong with buying a template from Etsy or wherever else you want to buy it but y'all kind of get in the habit of learning to make your own templates it's so easy just get a ruler and measure um they even now they even sell the rulers for cups it's a circular ruler um y'all this tape is not wanting to work it keeps sticking to me um but they now even say okay so i got that all down and i probably should tape right here at the top i'm not even in camera screen um so that's that y'all i'm using a sub sublimation paper printer's jack ink um silhouette studio i'm trying to think um of what all my materials are because people are going to ask this mug press i got from swing design there's, there's a video on my channel of uh, me using this for the first time it was a perfect price. I got it for $119 on sale. Um, so what I'm doing, I am going to use, this is regular paper, printer paper. And I'm going to use that for like my blowout paper. Um, just, you know, because a sub sublimation paper does have a tendency to bleed. So I'm just going to roll a couple of sheets here also to give it some kind of thickness because this is a um mug press this is not a tumbler press y'all know mugs are i'm only gonna use one sheet because if i use too many sheets it's gonna um not insulate properly 
And y'all, this video was too long already, and I apologize. Um, so I'm going to do it like that. But back to what I was saying, this is a mug press, not a tumbler press. Mugs are thicker than tumblers. And so as of right now, I don't get an exact seal when I press tumblers in here. Um, but they there are, um, what do you call those things? They, they do sell like these silicone pads on Amazon that you can buy um, to give it some kind of thickness. And it's like a real good... Uh, he conducted now the directions on the cup said 360 degrees for 60 seconds um but i have found when i do that sometimes it doesn't work so i got it at 380 this is what i'm gonna do so i'll know where i i am i'm gonna place it in here and i'm gonna close it up and let me start my timer I'm going to grab a pen and kind of mark where this stops so I'll know where to turn it. Um, I, if you are looking at that, the temperature on this, if you noticed, it dropped a couple of degrees. So whenever you're sublimating, especially because this is a... Um, an aluminum stainless steel, I guess you would say, uh, tumbler. What I probably should have done, I probably should have preheated that just to get it warm. That way it doesn't drop, uh, the temperature doesn't drop too bad um, when pressing it because I have noticed whenever I'm pressing these items, even though the manufacturer may say, you know, 380 degrees or 360 degrees, for a minute or something like that when I press it it doesn't always work and that's because the temperature drops when you first place it in there you don't want to press it too long because you don't want to burn it but you don't want to press it you don't want to press it in a, a time that is too short because then it won't sublimate and one way you can tell is because you can kind of see it all the way through so I'm gonna scoop this down and we're gonna do it for another 60 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and press my timer. Um, then I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around because I, I took my pen and I drew a line on top of the paper for me to be able to see which way I need to turn it. Um, and because this is a mug press, it's, it's designed for ceramic mugs. Um, and it is designed for stainless steel tumblers and things of that nature but it's kind of you got to get it down to a perfect science um every substrate is not the same everything is not going to sublimate the exact same even though there may be um manufacturer's instructions for the machine the ink the substrate itself a lot of times it's trial and error and you just got to play around with it and find your your happy medium um, so there's a lot of factors working against me in this case because this mug press is It's bigger because it's designed for a mug Mugs are thicker than glasses or tumblers. So now I'm gonna go ahead and open this up I'm gonna turn it Because I want to get that other part that I didn't sublimate start my timer for 60 seconds um and then after this presses i'm gonna put me a little pen mark right here so i'll know where i was let that sublimate for another 60 seconds then i'm gonna take a peek um so i can see what it looks like because i may have to run it through again just like i said there because this is a tumbler a tumbler is thinner than a mug so when it's with the mug you're getting it's real tight um, and I've got this tightened as far as it'll go again this is a mug press and not a tumbler press um, I, I wanted to get him a, a tumbler press but this was when I was hopping on every new trend and I saw somebody posted a they got a mug press and so they're sublimating mugs now so I was like well shoot let me jump on that when I should have just went ahead and, and you know 
put that money together um, and just went ahead and bought a eight in one. All right, so let me go ahead and press this again for another 60 seconds. And I'm gonna take a peek at it and look at it and see what's going on. But I kind of feel like I'm gonna have to press it again um, just because it's not getting, it's not as tight as it would be with a mug. Uh, but again, you know, trial and error. You live and you learn. And, and this is for me. So it's no biggie. Um, I'm looking for my, and I'm, I probably should have had that out already, but I can't find them. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of material. Y'all, whenever you're doing these cups or these mugs or these tumblers or these glass cans, y'all gotta be careful because those things are hot. Um, so when they come out, they are hot and they're hot to handle. And I don't know what in the world I did with my gloves. so. I'm just going to grab this. And again, y'all, I apologize for this video um, being so long. But when I do stuff, I kind of like to let you all see how it goes in real time. You know, a lot of people, edit, which is, you know, cool for the ones that edit their videos. Um, but I kind of like to keep my videos in real time just so you can see what's going on. Um, I'm kind of afraid. So what I'm going to do is peek on my name. That way, I mean, the, the cup part. That way, if it, if it didn't sublimate all the way, I can just press that down. And of course, my tape don't want to lift. And this cup is hot. Okay. So that looked like it it went through oh I'm so scared <laughs> because I'm scared this is not gonna sublimate all right uh I'm scared to peek because I don't I don't want to move this while I'm peeking oh y'all can't see me um I don't want to move this I'm, I'm talking loud I get loud when I get excited I'm sorry uh I don't want to move this and then it's not done. And I have to press it again. Oh, snap. Well, look at there. Shut my mouth. All right, let me take that off. Well, you know what? This is one time where following directions actually work because I'll never, I never follow directions, y'all. Well, ain't that about nothing. So, what is that right there? Okay. Um, that was just a piece of paper. So I got a little bit of ghosting right here, probably because I didn't tape her head down. Um, so y'all that follow me know I made a pillow. Affirmations pillow. So here's the tumbler to match. So I got a little bit of ghosting right here. Let me bring it in focus. Ghosting is because I didn't take the bottom and I should have taped the bottom, but I mean, it's okay. It's not noticeable. Again, this is mine. So I feel like I'm making progress because um, my other tumblers used to look like garbage. So there's that. Let me go ahead and cut my machine off. Um, let me screw the lid on because I'm about to wash this and I'm gonna be drinking out of this today. So there we go, y'all. Um, I'm so excited. Even though the directions said 360, I thought I cut this off. I had it at about 384 and I did it for 60 seconds each side. Um, I'm pleased. Again, I got this from Michaels. It was $9.99. Um, my store only had one in stock. So, but again, let me hurry up because I'm at 19 minutes already. I'm sorry for this long video, but I like y'all know me. I like to do some start to finish. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you found this video helpful, give me a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment section, a comment in the comment section. If you have already not subscribed, go ahead and do so. As I always say, and until the next video, do what makes you happy. And for me, that's crafty. Bye now.